in your life will become a setup for breakthrough. Let's share the word of God with us titled The Breath of Praise. The Breath of Praise. Praise is not a principle. Principles might work or might not work. Principles might fail. Your car engine runs by principle. The aeroplane is flying by principle. And sometimes when the principles fail, aeroplane crash, vehicles crash. When principles fail, this light can go off because this light we are seeing is by principle. When principle fails, this microphone can stop working. So, one thing with principle is that they don't, they can fail. That is why sometimes you hear people say, I run my life by principle. The principle helps them for some time and then the principles fail them because principles can fail. Amen? This roof is sustained by principle. When the principle fails, this roof can crash on us. Amen. Praise God. So praise is not a principle of God that might fail one day. Praise is a mystery. Praise is a mystery that governs the workings of heaven. And heaven can never fail. Praise God. So we do not praise God as a principle. We praise God as a mystery. We are in... Anytime you engage in praising God, you are operating a mystery, a divine mystery, a divine secret that God has given to men for their strength and for their build up for their miracle on earth. Hallelujah. This mystery of praise is what I'm about to unveil to us this morning. The secret behind praise. I was really thinking about it. Oh Lord, why do you like people to praise you? Why do you like people to thank you? And I began to search for answers and some of the things the Holy Ghost told me is what I will share with us today. Say so number one, if you read the book of Genesis chapter one, after God created everything, he did not give thanks to himself. He did not praise himself. Because if he praises himself, people will think he has an ego problem. Is it not true? If he thanks himself and go around raising his shoulder, see what I have done, it looks as if God has a pride problem. So there was no one to praise him for what he has done to thank him for creating the heavens and the earth and creating human beings on the surface of the earth hallelujah hallelujah so how will he get thanks and praise for his works and for the things that he has done amen amen the bible let us to know god's mystery and how God intends to get praise and thanks for all his works. So in Psalm 150 verse 6, look at what the scripture says. He said, let everything that has bread praise the Lord. Let everything that has bread praise the Lord. So after God created everything that has bread, he in turn asks the things that has bread. To praise him for what he has done so if we connect that quickly with psalm 150 verse number two he said praise him for his mighty acts praise him according to his excellent greatness so after god created everything he now demanded us who he created and that he has given breath to to return back praise to him for his mighty acts so 
anywhere you go and God have done something or you see what God has done it now becomes mandatory for us to give him thanks and to give him praise hallelujah that is the workings of the supernatural realm God works and those he works for return praise to him God does miracle and those that he has done miracle for they return praise to him God touches life and if he has touched your life you give him praise hallelujah since there was no one to praise him he demands his creatures that has the breath of life to praise him so thanksgiving and praise is a miracle so anywhere a miracle is wrought by God there is always praise that return back to God let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your father who is in heaven so anytime the child of God shines light the glory returns to our father the glory returns to God hallelujah so in the beginning God removed his bread and put his bread into mud clay dust and that dust became a living soul the breath of God entered the dust the dust became a living soul and God now said now that you are a living soul and I have put my breath in your nurseries I want you to return praise to me so for praise we don't praise God because he has done any other thing the fact that you have breath in your nurseries you are supposed to give him praise praise God so long as you have the breath of God in you and you are alive you are supposed to give him praise but you can't be praiseful until you are thankful it is thankfulness that makes us praiseful the person you do not appreciate you can never praise amen so praising comes from thanking if you don't think somebody have done well enough you will never be able to praise him so thankfulness is the beginning of praise when praising starts it starts from thanking when thankfulness matures it becomes praise Hallelujah.